Disturbing new information tonight on a bizarre and terrifying kidnapping case. A woman tortured and held against her will, taken on a violent cross-country trip before she was finally rescued at a local truck stop. Tonight, new court documents are shedding light on the abuse police say she endured. Chelsea Rarick takes a closer look tonight. Chelsea. Well, Bill, these are the court documents that go into gruesome detail about what happened to the victim. We do want to warn you, some of what you are about to hear may be disturbing. Disturbing new details revealed in these court documents after an Iowa couple pleads guilty to sex trafficking Friday. Well, we're dealing with sociopaths, obviously. Documents state that Aldair Hazda and Laura Sorensen tricked the victim to join them in their RV. When she arrived, the two took her phone and sexually assaulted her. The defendants began their trip to Virginia to visit Hazda's daughter. During the trip, the two attempted to prostitute the victim along various truck stops. Court documents also say that while the victim was held captive in Virginia, she was tortured and beaten by both Hazda and Sorensen. A dog collar and leash were forced onto the victim, and she was ordered to jump from the RV onto a gravel path. The two defendants also sprayed bleach into the victim's wounds. These people are sadistic. Dominance is a key role in the way they were treating this young woman. We showed the court documents to former forensic psychologist Mike Banks. In general, these people very well may have been abused individuals themselves and have reacted over the course of time. Still, Banks says you may never know what goes on inside someone's mind who commits a crime like that. What exactly they were thinking, I have no idea other than to make money off the prostitution. Now, we reached out to the truck driver that originally spotted the victim back in January about the plea. Kevin Kimmel tells CBS 6, quote, I've lost a lot of sleep reliving that day, and I feel that a huge weight has been lifted off of me. Thank God they are off the streets. Now, the two defendants are set to be sentenced in August. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Chelsea Rarick for CBS 6 News.